Good morning, Gemini journalist fans. It is indeed an honor to have you here taking the time out of your busy schedule to join me as I continue reading and swaying you away in fine Jamaican style. Now, down below in the description, remember I do have the links to my social media platforms. You definitely want to head on over to social media and check out all the works that I have been sharing there. Currently on TikTok for all my TikTok users. Remember to head on over to TikTok and check out the readings of A Marginalized Voice by Reginald Williams. And definitely you can also reach out to Reginald um, I will share his links. You can definitely reach out to Reginald. Hook yourselves up with copies of his works. So without that much delay, oh, let me take my time out and welcome all my newcomers, my new subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed, ensure that you hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on because you don't want to miss out on all the good stuff that takes place right here on the Gemini Journalist. So once again, without delay, we're going to dive right into it. Currently, we are featuring Call It What You Will, My Rape Story. Read number 21. Ashley and Asad Relocate Ashley and Asad sold both the condo and mom's place. They moved out to Ashton's place. Well, now my place, huh? Matters not. They moved in with me and hired an on-call caregiver. They both took turns being the super awesome kids they were. I continued to grow weaker and weaker. I was unable to do much on my own. Sometimes a diaper or tube were my way of passing waste. I became embarrassed and more and more depressed about my state. Ash and Asad did their best to keep me happy and take my mind off the worst. My time has come. I woke with Ashton lying next to me. The time has come, my love, he whispered softly. I rubbed the sleep from my eyes, but by this time he was gone. I whispered his name softly. But he was gone. He only came to deliver the good news and left. I felt my spirit slowly leave my body as I took my last breath. I could hear Ash and Asad enter the room and were calling out to me. I slowly faded away. It was my turn to head home and Ashton had come for me. I managed to scribble this note while I took my last breath. I'm sorry, Ash. I'm sorry, Asad. I never meant to break your hearts and to leave you with tears in your eyes. I love you both dearly and I, I'm proud to be your mother and you have both made me proud, Mom. My spirit stood by my bedside looking down at me for the last time before it bid my body goodbye. It smiled as it looked at Ash and Asad, unable to hug them with warmth the way I would. Goodbye, Ash. Goodbye, Asad. All right, Gemini journalist fans. So that was indeed read number 21 call it what you will my rape story i hope you enjoyed what you heard here today remember hit like hit share tell a friend all about the good stuff that takes place right here on the gemini journalist remember if you are indeed a first timer to the channel hit subscribe turn the notification bell on because you don't want to miss out on all the good stuff that happens here remember to check out all the links that are listed down below in the description you have the links to my social media platforms and you also have the links available to my amazon 
web page guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of this tuesday have a blessed week until we see each other again thursday at 6 a.m where we do this all over again stay safe stay blessed see you soon